Hey everybody, my name is Phil. I'm Erica. And today we're watching Succession Season 3 Episode 9. Let's dive in. Okay, so on the last episode, uh, a lot of stuff happened. It was basically um, their mom's wedding to this guy that they don't like, so everybody was together in Italy. And um, in the middle of this new wedding and all of these new interactions with the, with the, the new guy, um, the owner of Gojo was kind of messing with their deal. Like he was on social media and he was tweeting some cryptic things. And eventually, uh, Rome went to go meet him and he told him that he wanted to come in as equal partners, 50-50. Um, we didn't think that, that Logan would go for it, but by the end of the episode, he was actually kind of down. So there's that. Uh, and then everybody's relationship also kind of had a really big moment. Through Kendall and Logan, they finally got together. Kendall wanted out. Logan wants him still in. Um, Shiv and Tom, uh, I think the, the, the love dynamic between them became even greater, where it's become even more painfully obvious that Shiv does not love him, or he's not the same amount. Um, Rome <laughs> sent an unfortunate <laughs> picture to his dad, and now it looks like uh, Jerry might be on the outs, so who knows what's going to happen there. And uh, what else happened? That might be it. Yeah. So. Yeah. It was a lot, a lot, and we probably missed something, but I'm sure they're going to cover it again here, so let's dive back. You all right, son? Your dad was okay, you know? Yeah. He was okay. Yeah. Is he in the hospital? Jerry, well, it ended with him on the water, right? I know, that, and I was a little concerned that he was going to kill himself. But I didn't think it actually what? happened. Where are you, Jerry? Well, I thought you were the <laughs> Yeah, Jerry. You jump on that grenade for us. Thanks, pal. Did he just... Yeah. He's here. Nice. Yes, I will be nice to oh. Kurt Cobain of the fucking floaties. Hi. Wow. He's just coming. Uh, you were right. <laughs> we uh, we appreciate what you did. Well. It's nothing. Sure. But hey, you know, if you find him in the pool again, there's a C note in it for you to just let him sink, okay? Too soon, said the room. He's basically fine. They just kept him overnight. Jesus. Hey, buddy. Hey. Kenny. Hey. What's up, Ken? Hey. 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 You okay, brother? All good. Let's, let's just not make a whole song and dance, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna grab my kids, I guess. Uh, uh, they can stay here, I'm sure, tonight, if it's easier. I'm not leaving them with him. All right, then. Guess we'll see you at the royal wedding, then. Maybe. <laughs> oh, it hasn't happened yet. Hmm, I guess Talking not. to new lawyers. New lawyers? Okay, kids, let's go! Let's go! They're coming. All right, man. There. Later. Yeah. Peace. Mm. Uh, you want me on that call? No. OK. Go on, Carl. What? DOJ is going to likely hit us with an historic fine. Oh. Mm. Market cap has overtaken ours. Oh. Wow. OK, yeah, but that, that was already happening, so. Gojo's board may be considering entertaining other options. Makes sense. What? Fuck? Okay, well, is he gonna pull the plug? Or is Gojo Rome? Do you know? He swallowed the merger, but I don't know how much more he can fucking eat. Well, okay, don't get all sweaty, Betty. I'm gonna figure <laughs> out and I'll drop you an email, okay? Do you want me to come with you, Dad? No. <laughs> get out. <laughs> come with you, Dad. It's uh, not a. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, come on, Tumble Down. He's your pal. Let's go see Hans Christian and a fuck. And see if he's been telling us fucking fairy tales. Jeez. I was surprised it's taken this long for Logan to even get in front of him. Yeah, I know. For such a big deal. But my tita is in Sweden. Her employer, she cleans her home, or like there is their house manager. They have a helicopter pad, so rich there. I mean, you can build a pad. Without being rich. So, what do you think? Are we doing this fucking merger or not? Wow, just uh, straight in there, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, you know, I'm old. <laughs> what do you want, a bit of a... Oh, what a nice house you got here. 
Look, I don't want to fuck around forever with this. I mean, I've seen how your price is, and I understand. <laughs> I'll take it. All the options, but if we stay tight, this can work. So, shall we dance, or what? We need a hell of a lot of little folks running around shitting us data, you know, for the eyeballs, for the revenue, for the scale. No offense, but I don't think you have the technology or the orientation to get there. We're flying like a fucking rocket ship, and you're sinking like a lead balloon. We hear you have problems with binge and burn. We got the good stuff. Sure, sure. Some of your content is pretty cool, I guess, but business-wise, it's time for you to beef up or sell out. And you can't become a tech player because you and your business are just too fucking old. Mm. Whoa. He is in great shape. You know who he's fucking? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be rude because you're a legend. Honestly, you're fucking bulletproof. Well, I think we fit. Your company and mine. But, you know, the street loves us. We're, we're a strong buy. We're up and we're staying there. And you, you have this... Uh, is fine and all this other bullshit. You're hurt. So I make sense as the person to take over. Ooh. Right. Now, if, if that's an option, if that's something you would consider, then let's wow. talk. Let's Shoot. Go fuck myself, tell me to go fuck myself. Pay you out, or if you want control inside or outside of the assets you love, that's cool. I would want you to maintain prestige. It's not about making you small. Oh, jeez. That you'd rule the roofs. It would be no. your war. But I would structure it so fucking nice for you. I notice you're not punching me in the nose. <laughs> That's okay. Mm -hmm. Basically taking it from the Ronson is good though. <laughs> you're thinking every bit of me wants to tell this slab of groblocks to go fuck himself. Except for the bit that knows that every word he says is true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rome is so scared. But wait, <laughs> like literally put Rome and Matson like side by side. I appreciate the anxiety. It makes oh, you a think lot it'd be fire? He would be essential to the integration process. 100% crucial. Key element, the the face of the family. But not the, the owner. Rest, your, uh, your top team, I'd, I'd be happy to assess each according to their abilities. <laughs> okay. Right. You want to stick around for a bit? You can see if the old deal has a shape. Side hmm. snacks, maybe. You have that Israeli AI operation I might be interested in. Oh, yeah. Rowan, uh, you better get back. Wow. Um, uh, for tomorrow. All right, yeah, sure thing. <laughs> Don't want to miss the old nuptials. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> huh. It's like Hamilton. Excuse me for the room where it happened. What is he gonna do? He looks I think worried. He's eh? open to it. That's probably why he sent Rome away. Yeah. He didn't want to say yes in front of him. Mm. But it's interesting, right? Like nobody. Like, whatever comes out of this, we don't know how those negotiations went. At least no one in the family does. Yeah. There he is. Oh, hey. jeez. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <clears throat> so, what is this? Let's take a seat. Come on. What? So they just invited him? Okay. Intervention? <laughs> I don't know. It's a bit too late. Do they care that much? So, we just wanted to get together. To let you know that we love you. What? <laughs> I don't want you to die, so. <laughs> yep. Yep, this what is, is their this? intervention. Jeez. We're worried that you. I believe it from him. Are you trying to shut me down? Is this an intervention? Why do you get to do an intervention on me? Seriously? I mean, you need an intervention. You're addicted to booze and to drugs and relationships and sex and work and the family drama. No, sorry, no. I mean, look who's fucking here. I, 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 I don't see it. You, you don't have any standing. You need to stop trying to kill Pop. Mm. Okay. You're selfish. Oh gosh. You're self Connor. Just, what? Just 
I'm not allowed to say my piece? No, you can just... Oh, they're actually being really sensitive about this. Do you have any idea how it feels as the eldest son to be you know, promised something? Oh, yikes. You know? Connor's been there. I do know how that feels. <laughs> yeah. I am the eldest son. Well, yeah, obviously, Con, but you know what he means. I am the eldest son! And no mm. one told me about this fucking merger of fucking mm. equals and what if I want to take over because I am the eldest son. All right. Oh, Why is wow. he gonna hold a knife like that? <laughs> I'm the eldest son, Whoa. and I must be considered, and I need to be taken into account. Con, what okay. are you talking about? <laughs> throwing his hat in? Oh, shut up. What, you're hurt? Oh, gosh. I didn't see Pop for three years. Hmm. But your spoon wasn't shiny enough. Hmm. I do love you. I love all three of you pricks, but what do I get from you chumps but chump change? Hmm. Fucking chump change. Well, fuck you. I'm gonna lose ATN to a goddamn Swede, so my name is... <laughs> I love you. So yeah. Yeah, that me AC. <laughs> oh, she's gonna a pity yes. You know what? <laughs> Let's do it. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> what? As as in Fuck it. Come on, how bad can it be? Right? What? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, why not? You know, oh. She didn't even say oh, yes. I'm just happy. That's her yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> How bad could it be? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's like, what did I do? <laughs> what a way to say yes. Bad could it be? Can you imagine if I said that to you? Jeez. That's horrible. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, that's sad. Ah, <coughs> oh, poor Con. How are spirits? Like his, uh, how's his blood sugar? Yeah, he's amazing as always. Oh yeah, of course. Do these guys have to be here? <laughs> Wait, can't they be in a place that has better Wi-Fi? And work from there? Hmm, maybe it has to be close to... To Logan? Maybe. Dad coming from, uh -huh. you know? Is the deal? I wonder what they decided. I know. <laughs> Matt isn't gonna be <laughs> successor. Who made you the wizard of fuck? Jeez. Oh. What is going on? Don't wear uh... Peter, I think you better face it that Logan is not gonna make it. You might have to just make do with me, sorry. <laughs> Mongo. Oh gosh, she's crying. Do <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you think she knows something? Mm. I mean, what if it's all falling apart? Yeah, Dad's back, so why isn't he here? Oh, relax, it's, uh, it's cool beans. Since when trying to cool panic. Beans? You don't yeah. have <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Hi. Hey, I, listen, I think we should, uh... <laughs> no, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. They'll be begging for a merger of equals after this. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So guess who's gonna get married to the greatest gal in the world? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> you said yes? Well, you finally ground her down, huh? <laughs> Congrats, man. Yeah, and, um, also, Willis... <laughs> oh, my Jeez. gosh. <laughs> but, cute bird. I just heard that Larry Van Zittart's PJ landed at Lunate and that he's headed to Lake Maggiore. What? Larry Van Zittart? With Matson? That means financing. Why would Matson? Yeah, why would Matson need financing for an all-stock deal? Oh my gosh. And Greg has been contacted by some assistants. Greg has. Greg. Yeah, so let's split up what? that pool, okay? Okay. Uh, Rome? Yeah. You're supposed to be inside this track on this. This could be any number of things. I think it's fine. He did it. Oh my gosh. Greg really said been getting some tremors on the assistant loop. Is this true? Yeah. Uh, a call went out on Lackey Slack because there are a number of advisors in town from Lion Tree, apparently, and they don't like the feel of the hard Italian pillows. So, but that's a, it's a private chat. Yeah, so. Shut up, Barry. Thank you. 
And this is like the perfect distraction too. To get this done without them knowing. Yeah. Mm -mm. Hey, excuse me. Uh, what did you say to Jerry just now? Um, nothing. Nothing? And uh, why are you lying? Did he... <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, jeez. My dad, because that's an incredibly stupid idea. And I think Carl and Frank are in Europe. Uh, what the fuck, Rome? Oh. Carl? You are ring. Hey, Carl, how you doing? Where are you, man? At the office? In your office? Huh? Great, well, I'll leave you to get on with your office job then, you motherfucker. <laughs> he said that before you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you see Jerry? What the wow. Fuck yeah. Oh, this my gosh. Tell her what All you know. Right. Yeah. I should probably say, in Matson did float as an idea that maybe they buy us. Mm-hmm. Uh, and what did Dad say? Fuck off. They stuck around? Yep. They stuck around, yeah. Jesus Christ. You told me this earlier. Yeah. Uh, we might need to you think he cares? Talk, company stuff. <laughs> I don't. I'm not interested. Shit. Huh? What's she gonna tell the if it wasn't important? Because they're gonna sell the company underneath from underneath them too, right? So maybe they oh. could well. do something. Hurry the fuck up. Get shareholders involved. I don't know. I don't really know how it works. <laughs> Imagine they team up, these three, finally. Okay. Wow. Dad is doing us dirty, right? Can you not make it a thing right away? Okay, we actually don't, we don't know yet. <laughs> Dad is huddled with Carl and Frank. Mm -hmm. Our market caps have tipped. The local town's been bought out by a new set of advisors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but Dad would never sell, would he? Hey, asshole, mm -hmm. Dad would never sell, right? I don't know. I mean, would he? They're by the trash. They're literally by the trash. <laughs> I don't want to get into it. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. <laughs> Sorry, Ken. He does He's been not trying care. to get out. Yeah. Speaking with Matson? Oh, gosh. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's fair that they would think that. Yeah. yeah. Ken, can we talk? Shiv, I'm not here. Huh. What's he thinking? Hey, buddy. You okay? There's something really wrong with me, Shiv. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm not feeling very connected to my children hmm. and my endeavors right now. And uh, I can't get one thing right with another, you know? I don't know what happened. I tried to do something. I, I, I really, I, I tried. I tried. I'm not a good person. Well, whatever, you're... Fine. I'm I'm bad. Is he gonna say admit to what he did? Oh my like gosh. Blum blum. He's been holding that in. A kid. <gasps> there it is. Oh my gosh. What? Yeah, they're they're coming for me. They're yeah, the story. Is this uh, is this real? What the fuck? That kid. Oh I, my gosh. Waiter kid? I was high, I was drunk, I was fucked up, but I drove. And he saw something and he snatched at the wheel and we went into the water. And then I left him in there and ran. Okay, uh, let's, we gotta get you, come on. It's fucking That's heavy. Oh, oh my gosh. Man. I'm all apart. Oh my God. If it pleases the court. <laughs> Rome like just... She didn't kill him. It <sighs> sounds to me like he killed him. Rome, I'm a piece of shit, man. But the road in the water killed him? That's what it sounds like. No, nah, man. Don't. No, seriously. I mean, you crashed and then what? You did... You ran? No. No. I mean... I tried to get him. This sounds like the story of a hero to me. <laughs> Straight out of it. 
Serious, I would have been out of that water like a tabby cat out of a bath. <laughs> Don't, man. Don't, man. I'm a, I'm a killer. Oh, fuck you. Bullshit. Come on. At worst, you're... You're an irresponsibler. Okay? You're big <laughs> yourself up. Yeah? I'm blown into a million pieces. Okay, we gotta get you out of here. What, where do we go? Bring him back to the chapel, stuff him in a confessional, that'll fix it. Who hasn't clipped the odd kid with the <laughs> I mean, it's like a rite of passage. <laughs> the kid, too. Big deal. What? Yeah. What? You killed the kid, right? Uh, yeah. Huh? Man, you fucked my <clears throat> wedding in so many ways. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. my God. Her down. That makes sense. It took me forever to get a fucking drink at her wedding. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bad joke. Real victim here. I waited three quarters of an hour for Jenna. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> this is That's in a twisted nice. way. It's kind yes, of sweet yeah, what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. Laird is inside the deal, but he's been cucked out of the lead, so he's bitter and bleeding. Gojo buys Waystar. Okay. They pay a premium. Dad cashes out. Wow. Cash and stock. Uh, he keeps maybe a title, uh, but and takes a few assets. <clears throat> Matt's in the fucking board. So, can we trust that? Is that real? Kendall, I know this isn't ideal, but we have to talk about this now. Like, I'll call the car. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Mm. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He legit just confessed this massive thing that's been weighing him down and the timing of all this. Uh, can I, can I be with you guys? Yes. Okay. <laughs> the room is so awkward. <laughs> I just does not know how to, how to care. It's so interesting. The thing that he was talking about at the beginning, like at that intervention, it's like, you guys don't know how it feels. Yeah. You were promised something and it was taken away. That's happening to all of them. Yeah, true. Oh my gosh, are they going to team up? <laughs> So we go see him and we tell him we just won't have it, right? We don't know how this is going to play out just yet. You think daddy's protecting you? Hmm? No, we let Matson take control. That is dad slamming the door. It means that he doesn't ever think that we will, can, or should take over. Yeah. I just don't think we should be aggressive. I mean, can we even actually stop him? Yeah, what's the plan after that? A change of control needs a super majority in the holding company. Mom got us that the divorce. We need us on board. Well, okay. I'm not sure I want to pull out a move like that. Maybe I just stick with what I got. Which is what? Hard drive full of dick pics? Nice. <laughs> Bim has a face. Dad is never right? going to choose you because he thinks there's something wrong with you. Oh, gosh. And I'm sorry, but maybe it's time that we said these things to each other instead of just talking it all out to Vanity Fair. <laughs> you can't sanction a deal without us. That's legal fact. Block him and he's fucked. Okay, so, time to rip off the band-aid. We just we push him out. We get him on his own, and we say, you're in retract. We say, shareholder meeting. Right, he nearly fucking croaked at Josh's. Yeah, he's out of it. He's fucking a 20-year-old, and he's planning for babies in jars. Oh my gosh. And he's tried to sell the shop. So, I mean, even just fucking his assistant. We tell the board that, he's toast. We push him out. Oh, God. What he's always wanted. Yeah. Light him out. Say, oh Cat, no, Chad. Rome. Uh, you or me, Rome, CEO. And the other one takes <laughs> whatever they want, like studio, movies, TV, the streamer, but you know, equal. Okay, but really equal. Really Where's equal. Where's Khan? I don't want you two cunts trying to big brother me out of my phone. Oh, he might be in. No, we can fight it out. It'll, it'll be fun. <laughs> that will be fun. <laughs> mm. Oh, fuck. Oh my gosh. I do think that even though this literally makes me want to vomit and I want to kill you both every day and it's all going to end horribly, I do think that we puke would make a pretty good team. Let's go! How do we feel about 
Oh my gosh, this is actually happening. And he's <laughs> he been knows. wanting to do this. Ooh. He's been ready. You win. Okay. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be that simple. Wow, what a turnaround. But also, that is <laughs> why... Oh, here we go. Right now, because it's complicated and I don't have time. But that's why Logan was like, don't tell them. Don't tell them. These guys. Oh, like, carry because to carry they in. probably have a move. Yeah, of course. He wants to close the deal. Okay. I'm telling too many people. <laughs> Where do I fit in? Sure. Well, high up, Tom. I don't know. It... We'll figure it out, though. There's a lot going on. No, sure. Sure. Okay. Uh, uh, but, 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 uh, high? But Tom? Once we do it right away, we're gonna offer him a medical card. Secure the Imperial Guard. Tell him that he needs to take some rest. And source to us kids, we'll get ATN to confirm. So we can cite you as sources? <laughs> yeah, I will stand it up. Oh, uh, I feel like they're moving way too quickly. I know. What if Logan did do something in there to protect them? I know, I think there might be something in there, but yeah. why not say something? If he just wanted to get some things done first before telling them. Hey. hey. What are these guys doing? Are they working? <laughs> As in, is anyone going to jail? No. Do you want to come with me? Sporus? Can I ask oh. for information? No. Don't think so. Sporus. I might need you as my attack dog. Right. Like um, a Greg Weiler. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tom's attack dog. All right. Well, in terms of where I could be getting to if I were to come with, you could be heading away from the endless middle and towards the bottom of the top. <laughs> <laughs> so it's appealing. It's yeah. upward. Listen, I have, I have things to do. Um, do you want a deal? With mm, yeah, it's the cost. What am I gonna do with a soul, anyways? <laughs> My souls are boring. <laughs> Boo, souls! <laughs> <laughs> of course. Oh, goodness. Okay, so okay. interesting. I know, <laughs> so interesting. <laughs> How long have I been driving? I know. Is this deal not done? <laughs> no. It's not gonna go this smooth. At least listen first, you know? Before just going in there and being like, blam, blam, blam. Look at all the people that are there. Hey, Dad! Oh. Huh. We're going in? I don't know. I haven't seen him. Oh, you haven't seen him. That's convenient. He hasn't seen him. Mm-hmm. Guys. Hey. And the man. Oh, he already knows. Uh, we're just feeling a little out of the loop, Dad. Oh, of course, things have moved very fast. Come in, come in, come in. Um, mm. yeah, we might be wrong, but we're, uh, we're hearing rumors about Gojo. I've been looking at some options. Okay. Right. We might be affected. Our position. Shiv, so just stop. Just listen. Absolutely. Can you take him out, Romulus? I'll fill in your sister and give you the angles. I don't trust him. I mean, that's fair. Come on, Roman. Roman, you can tell us together, Dad. Yeah, it just might be better, you know, if we all hear. <laughs> Ours is a declining business. There's a wave of consolidations happening that mean this is the optimal moment, in my opinion, uh, to make a deal with a serious tech operation. Uh, can you ease up and let us in, stop this, until we see exactly how we're impacted? No, it has to be now. Why? Because I feel it in my bones. Mm. <laughs> no arguing with that, huh? End of the day, that's all I've fucking got. Mm. You know that's bullshit. Look, this is the best moment to sell. I don't get out, I leave five billion on the table. Come on, Jeez. Dad, what are you gonna do with the five bill? Huh? Put it on your pile with all your other fucking... <laughs> I know. Mm-hmm, probably, yeah. <laughs> what are we supposed to do? Make your own fucking mm. pile. I know this is a readjustment. 
But our blood's in the water, and I need to make moves fast in order to control the situation and get myself and you assurances for the future. Come on, Roman. Uh, let's get away from these fucking Jacobins. I've got you. Come on, let's discuss. Hey, Dad, I, I know what he said. I was there, but um, really, with Madsen calling the shots, we're wow. stronger than the town square. No. He rates you. You have my word. Um, this is a, a bit of fucking grit. Guys. Heard this before. Like me. You can trust me. You can't trust him. Oh my gosh. How much more do you need to hear before you pull that card? We're here to say, the three of us, wow. to ask and to say, do not do this, please. Wow, Rome. He really tried to isolate. We can stop you. And we will stop you. Blow this up. You need our vote for a change of control. Yeah. You need all of us. You need a supermajority, and we can kill it. You're playing toy fucking soldiers. Go on. Fuck off. I have you beat. You. He thought about this. Well. No, because you need a supermajority oh, well, no, because I need a supermajority to put you in. Caroline. Oh my gosh. Wow. She, she gave it back. Mom? Oh, shoot. He knew. He knew they were going to do that. So he took it back. Oh my gosh. Mom, you fucked us. And we've agreed. That the arrangements were a little antiquated. Oh fuck, mom, he got to you. Oh seriously, mom, already? The mom, you just slid our throats. Please don't be angry. I, <laughs> I think this is for the best. Peter's so excited. Oh, is he? Peter's excited. <laughs> Great. Wow. Wow. Okay. Dad. Please. Please. <laughs> Seat sniffer gets a fucking leg up. That's a deal. What have you got in your fucking hand? You bust them here, guns in hand, and now you find they've turned to fucking sausages. You talk about love? You should have trusted me. <laughs> Dad, why? Why? Because it works. I fucking win. He always does. Go on, fuck off, you nosy fucking pedestrians. Dad. Hey. <laughs> Who told him that we were coming? Jerry, 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 Jerry. He's not well. You can help us, right? You can help us stop him? Well, I'm focused on whatever outcome best serves the financial interests of the shareholders of the company. <sighs> oh my gosh. That's what he was talking to Greg about. Okay. Hey. <gasps> no. <laughs> Tom did that. Oh my god. Tom did that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That just sealed the deal for her. <clears throat> what do you mean? Well, she already doesn't like him. <laughs> like They're who? married. Tom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, damn. Yo, okay. Damn. They really had that. That was... Succession. Crazy. Because people in the comments were talking about how this whole storyline between Greg and Tom and that, that like, mythical right, story that he told. Right, the Boris thing. Yeah, yeah that was going to make sense. sense. Yeah. That they were going to partner together and kill the wife like that was like the rough storyline and even when they were talking there i had no idea me neither what was gonna happen i but thought it was gonna have to do with teaming up with obviously the siblings not with logan yeah Holy. but obviously he knows the power lies with logan yeah and and but... i think that <clears throat> i think that last conversation is what sealed it with with, uh, with tom like on the phone 
It's like, where am I going to be? How high am I going to be? And she's just kind of like dismissive and right. whatever. And he's like, mm. <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, if that's what happened, and it, looks, it looks like that's what happened. Yeah. That, that like catapults Tom and Greg yeah. above the siblings. Yeah. Yo. I'm surprised that Tom even went there. Because he was at the wedding. He was at the reception, right? Yeah. And he came after. Like, why would he do that? Maybe part Wouldn't of that conversation was with, with Shiv was to be like, oh, just meet us there and, you know, we'll, oh. we'll be talking to him. I don't know. But. Unless he had to be there now to sign some stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's oh, crazy. Man. But you know what? I will say I am pleasantly surprised of how the siblings like rallied together. Just like for their relationship. I know like not for the company and like taking over the company, but. <laughs> like never again for Rome. Like the one time I'm, I'm with you guys. I'm finally doing it. Yeah. And it was for nothing, I guess. And, and well, I mean, like, but at least their relationship. I don't know. That was a big step. Relationally, obviously their interests and. In, the company that's that they no longer have a stake in that part sucks but the fact that they could i don't know relationally be better like that was a nice moment when but, uh yeah. i know i know now I that we know what we know <laughs> what do you mean i feel like they have now like some kind of shared experience like now they're actually teamed up together against it. i mean i know they lost but Still, it's the first time they've truly teamed up together and thought about, you know what, we could actually do this mm -hmm. together. For, for me, it goes the opposite way. Like, it goes completely the opposite way. It's like, we finally teamed up together, and this proves why I never wanted to team up with you guys. Yeah, but they know it's not nothing of their fault. Like, they all agree that it's their mom's fault. Sure, but Rome, from the beginning, was saying, let's hear him out. Let's mm -hmm. hear what he has to say. Let's try and figure this out. Let's not go. Yeah, because he knows, it, for selfish, in, selfish interests, he knows that it's more for himself, not his siblings. No, I know, but what I'm saying is that he's full, if he decides not to trust them <laughs> and never work with them again, yeah. he's justified in this one act. Because it's like, <laughs> I, I went my way this whole time, and I got this close to, like, to Dad, to Matson, to being in the room, and I go with you guys once. It's cool, yeah, we're talking and all that stuff, but, like, all of this happens. Like, if he would never, like, work with them again, I don't think it's a, like, I don't think he's, like, making a bad decision. Yeah, but I feel like it's just, it's bigger than that. It I, is, I see what you're is. saying, business-wise. But to have had that conversation that they had and Ken confessing what he did, and there is something there that obviously connected the siblings yeah, yeah, yeah. together that either either way Rome is losing something. Mm -hmm. If he decided to go with his dad and whatever, leave his other two siblings behind, what he just had probably for the very first time with his other two siblings, he would have been losing out on Which, on that. I mean like I know historically just, that's always been lower though dick, anyway. But Right. Yeah, I know, but the fact that now he, it's something, I don't know. I guess it's just my own, obviously, personal bias, because I, obviously, I love relationships. Yeah, <laughs> and, like, yeah. you know, but it's, always... it's, at the end of the day, it's, it, for this, it's all about business, right? And it's, like... No, it's not. Wait, wait, what do you mean, for this, the show? For, for the people in the show, yeah, it's all about business. Oh, yeah, like, that's where they're... they're... they're heartbroken because they're losing a business, <laughs> Right, yeah, like that's yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's where this emotion is coming from. It's not like they have more emotion here than they did hearing that their brother potentially killed somebody. Yeah, right? it's like yeah. So well, because like, they've all been fighting for succession. Yeah. Right, all of them for so long. They've been thinking about it since they were kids. But this whole show, I feel like, has been like just showing the dichotomy between business and like what it takes to be the successor versus like how crappy all their relationships are with each other with themselves uh -huh. and then but it's so interesting how the show like finally when you have 
some sense of cohesiveness and like genuine care for each other, it results in, I mean, not that that's the cause, but it just so happens that after they finally like have something genuine together, they end up losing <laughs> the company. Yeah. Um, but it's just, I'm just saying, just the way the show did that is very interesting. It's like very good actually. Yeah, yeah no, I, I, I can see that. Yeah. I feel like they've, they've been doing that all, all <clears throat> series long in terms of like, ever, ever since the series started, their company has been going, like, it's been declining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so they've been losing and losing and losing. Yeah. It's just the people internal, internally that have been losing more because it's just kind of like, what does that succession look like? But, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know. It's it's interesting. I don't know what, what they can do. Like, I love, of all the crappy things that were done in that last, like, couple of minutes, I love the idea that Hogan put out there. It's like... Yeah, make your I own agree. pile. I agree. I was just gonna say that like, too. Like, like one hundred percent. Like yeah. and the whole. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I, I, I was probably gonna say something similar to to you. Like you have every resource available to you. You yeah, have the too. social <laughs> capital. You have yeah. the connections. You can build something and be so far ahead of other people just based off of your name. Yeah. Right. So well. Like, I guess that's good and good and bad, but they could. Uh, yeah, there's an opportunity to separate, separate from the Roy, like the stigma. But in in business, in like the business circles, like sure, like socially, maybe there's like this this stigma with it. But in business circles, Logan Roy, like everybody respects him. Matson respects him. Yeah, but it's Logan. I know, but but they 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 learn from it. Like it, it's enough to no. get you in the door. I feel like they've shown time and time again is that everyone respects Logan and everyone knows the kids just do whatever Logan says. Which like is why. Like they are nothing without Logan. So with Logan out of the picture and them doing their own thing, I actually feel like it does them a disservice because they don't have Logan actually attached to them like having that business acumen. I disagree. Hmm. I, I, think, I think them being under Logan is what makes that happen. Why would I listen to a kid when I'm the owner of the business is not you? <laughs> like, I'm gonna talk to Logan. Yeah, so of course yeah. I'm not gonna be listening to you. Yeah, if you yeah. own your own business and I wanna be in business with you, yeah. I'll talk to you. No, yeah, I know, but I still feel like th- that whole like being a kid will still hold because they only got as far as they did in the company because of nepotism like just because they're his kids like they didn't go actually go get education and like they didn't i'm sure um, they were educated they didn't well remember rome had to do like he didn't know anything he was just already no, on no, top, but I mean, I thought, i'm Logan like actual education through. like degrees i'm sure they have degrees. oh okay yeah yeah yeah. but kind of like well like roman right like he was just put like that's why Logan sure. put him through yeah. like all that stuff to like actually put on some big boy pants but I forget what I was gonna say. I, I see the point that you're making, but it's not gonna be as simple as that, but I, it's gonna be much easier than anybody else for them to get something on their own started. I don't think it's gonna be yeah, no, they the definitely have a leg. as most people. I think they have more a than leg a leg up. up. I think they have a leg up compared to new entrepreneurs. More maybe. than even 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 no, higher saying, than that. Okay, yeah, whatever. It's higher. That's my point. It's higher. But in the echelon of where they are on that level, I think it's going to it's it's going to be tough for them. I disagree. Because of the, the <laughs> nepotism. Okay. Just cuz like you see what they've done so far and it's all because of their connection to their dad. Like they are nothing without that business connection to their dad so once they separate and kind of start their own thing like yes they have resources i'm just saying it's going to be really it's possible but it's going to be really difficult for them to gain the kind of respect or at least even get like a percentage of respect that people had for logan i think i that's my opinion i don't think so in business like you 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 carry those relationships with you even if you're doing a role within a company you build those relationships with the people that you're working with across like like suppliers or, or, or whatever. You have those connections whether or not you're connected to that company. 
mm-hmm. right? So it's like all of a sudden you're you, you're doing your own thing under your own name. You don't know that person anymore. You still have that connection. It's yeah, not like, I know. But business is so much more than just connection. Like you need to have the character and the strength and just like I just don't see the things that Logan has to like do like make those deals and like do all those things and like feel it in in his bones like I don't think the kids have that that's just my opinion that's just my opinion y'all I don't think they have it but they they could learn I don't think they need to build businesses that are like like waystar yeah they don't have to like you don't need to build that to to have your own pile right and 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 they've been plotting to take over what he's been doing for years. Mm-hmm. And they don't want to do it his way anyway. Mm-hmm. Right? They've been saying, as soon as I take over, these are the pivots I'm making. So it's not like they would want to be that type of leader anyway. Right? So I don't know. We'll I mean, they could disagree. definitely lead something. They're definitely leaders. I, I, I don't know. You're right. Maybe, you know what? I'm just thinking on the scale of what Logan's built. Hmm. They can definitely do their own. Maybe. Small business. <laughs> I think we're you're thinking under, about it on different scales. No, one, uh, no, no, no. You're, you're, you're undervaluing it, I, and you, I feel like you think I'm overvaluing what, what acumen they have. I think they have acumen. I just don't think they have the character. You can hire them. And I think, <laughs> like you can, yeah, you, but they're you, still you surround the yourself owner. with people that are better than you. To, to, to like get to the level where you are. Yeah, I don't, I just don't see them do it. Like they have to be the best, I feel. Uh, yeah. Anyways, whatever. <laughs> but I think it is like, as, as a parent, like Logan should have set, set those kids up for this possibility from the get go. Like that's why they're so distraught, right? They were so reliant on this. Like, they've built their whole lives around taking over the company, each of them. They've been competing for it. Well, even and now, all of a sudden, it is taken from underneath them. And sure. they're just, like, not prepared to cope with that. Sure, as a parent. But, like, I don't think throughout this entire series, I'm, I'm never judging him as a parent because that's so far down on his ladder of priorities. Like, I look at him as a business person. And from that perspective, I still think he should have been transparent. Because yeah. if he truly was building in, like, a, a way for them to be protected, then there's no reason for him not to be transparent, right? Because what, what being sneaky does is it opens you up to maneuvers, which is, what mm. they, is exactly what they did. They drew conclusions and then they started plotting on their own. Whereas you tell them and then they know, and at least you can keep an eye on what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Now you have your people on them, with them. You can kind of control the narrative a little bit. Whereas, like, you do things in silence. You do things in the shadows. And then it gets messy like this. Mm-hmm. Right? Which is why I found it really interesting. He always does this. But, like, in that conversation in that room where he turned it on them, meaning, like, how dare you do, like, like come at me with love. And, like, you, what were you doing? Like, why, why weren't you saying something? Mm-hmm. Like, what benefit was it to not tell us if you were trying to protect us? Hmm. That's, I don't know. That, that part, from a business perspective, I think, was weird. Definitely well, from a, a parental perspective, but I don't think he ever thinks with that hat. Well, I mean, he obviously knew that it was going to be extremely upsetting to the kids. Which is why he lied to Matson in front of Rome, saying there's no way that's gonna happen, and then he told Rome to leave. So, I mean, I, I get that. I think it was more for the reaction of the kids. Like, he knew they weren't gonna take it well, obviously. But uh, not take it well as in they'll make things messy, and he doesn't wanna deal with that while he's trying to close a deal. Not because yeah, of their true. feelings. Because I mean, it's oh, like, I think it's all of like if, if Shiv knew from the beginning, she'd be that loud while they're trying to close this deal. Yeah, yeah. Right, the entire time. So that I can get. But not from uh, I'm protecting your feelings kind of thing. It's like, let no, me... No, not try, no, no, no. Let me clear He's the... not trying to protect. Yeah, let me just yes, clear the air so that I can sure. get a, a, a clean deal done. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay. 
Yeah, and it happened so fast. <laughs> oh my gosh. A day? Like, they were just talking to him. They were just talking to Madsen that day. And then it got dark and the deal was done. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I think at least a day passed because the wedding happened the next morning. Oh, the next morning? I thought it happened the same day. I think. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Okay. I think we're running out of space on our SD card, so we should probably wrap this up. <laughs> um, that was a really great season finale. No idea what they're going to do from here. I don't know what kind of moves they could possibly have. Maybe there's still a way mm -hmm. that they bring in Stewie and they find a way to sh scare off Matson. I don't know, because it sounds like this is going to go through, mm -hmm. but uh, who knows. And Tom. And Tom. I don't know what happened. I would love it if this ends with Greg as the CEO. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. Okay, cool. Well, hopefully you enjoyed watching season three with us. We'll be back next week with season four. So, see you then. Peace.